love it when everyone is out of the house because I open up all the blinds and it just brings so much light in. Welcome back to a new vlog. I am eating. Um, I got this from Smoothie King. I think this is called the PB Drizzle or something like that, but that's my breakfast choice. But welcome back to a new vlog. Um, we are, it's a work from home day. I traveled for work yesterday. It was actually really, really hard for me. I'm not gonna lie. It's the first, it was my first day back to work after all the things had occurred in my life that kind of blew up so fast on me. Yeah, so today it's a work from home day. I'm staying in the house. I'm gonna get caught up on emails and um, I have like 150 emails to get caught up on. That's just my game plan. Nova's here with me. She's <laughs> Nova. Our cat. Our cat's name is Nova. Nova wants all the attention. Nova don't care what you doing. You better make sure you pay attention to her. But she's a sweetheart. It was a very easy transition to having this cat. I've had a cat before. I've had a dog before. But when I had gotten pregnant, bye bye cat, bye bye dog. It was just too much. It was too much for me when I was a single mom, pregnant, trying to take care of Harrison. I was not working from home. I was outside, out and about, running around from 6 a.m. We actually left out the house at 6 a.m. So I was running around from, we left around 6.30. So I got up at 5.30, my day started at 5.30. This is when I was actually going to the office. My day started at 5.30, it didn't end till like seven o'clock. I got home, the dog was there. It was just a lot for me. It was a lot. But Nova has been, and she's two months. Funny how God works, right? <laughs> yeah, Nova is two months. Nova, when we got Nova, she actually, she was one week away, one week and a day away from turning three months. Oh yeah, that's my game plan. And I appreciate you guys really just coming along this journey with me. I know like YouTube isn't, I don't want my vlogs to feel so heavy and I know that video was extremely heavy, the video before the one that just got uploaded. I know it, I know it was extremely heavy and I just appreciate y'all like rocking with me through that because that was like the most scariest thing. I, I don't mind sharing things in my life and testimonies and all the things. I'm a very transparent person. And I know people say like you gotta be cautious of what you share on YouTube and I am, but I also, I, I, I move with honesty and that's what my channel is about. I'm gonna show the real and the raw. I'm gonna show you my wins and I'm gonna show you my losses. And I'm gonna show you you know battles that I've I I have gotten through or getting through. I'm going to show you things that maybe people don't want to show, like the, the ugliest moments, but the greatest moments as well. Because for one, I'm not I'm not ashamed of anything that I will ever go through. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of it. Of it. And yeah, I appreciate y'all. Y'all y'all have really like showed out. Yeah, it is pouring down raining. It's later on in the day. I finished work. I'm about to cook. I'm cooking some pork chops. But look at the rain. This is such a vibe. Look at it. Every, every evening this week, it has poured and rained so bad. So I got to figure out what kind of sides I want to cook with these pork chops. Kitty don't want to be found. <sighs> Kitty don't want to be found, Ari. Look at her emotions. She just got so many emotions nowadays. Tell the people why you cut your hair. Let me see. Pork. 
she just be walking around with these big old emotions. I, I have to help her understand. <laughs> she'd be so sad when I tell her no. She'd be like, hmm, hmm. Don't you? Don't you be doing that. You gotta go poop? You poo poo on the potty. It's like days later. I don't even know where I last left off at the vlog. I've been traveling for work, so that's where I'm at. That's why I'm in the hotel right now because I've traveled and yeah it's been a very hectic week with work just catching up and just trying to get my footing back because you guys know I was I was off for a little bit and hold on I love these these are the best really love these I'm happy that it's it is the weekend I get to relax I'm supposed to see my friend this weekend so I'm really excited about that because I haven't seen her in a long time I actually decided to reach out to her to see if she wants to hang because I was like I'm like I need to get out the house I need to do things outside of mom <laughs> me being a mom I, I do and I just need, you know, I need to fill my time up. <sighs> I don't really hang out with people. I really don't. Like, I don't keep a large crowd. And I feel like I'm like when people say I'm, I'm a girl's girl. Like, I feel like I am a girl's girl, but I'm like a girl's girl with a tight circle. <laughs> Because even when I go out and stuff, like when I used to go out, I always was that girl who you would talk to in the bathroom and like, we'll be the best of friends. We'll be the best of friends until I leave that place. Like that was me. My best friend always laughed at me because like before I was, before I was in a relationship, she used to always say that I don't, I don't let guys, I didn't let guys talk to me when I would go out. Because I didn't, I didn't go, I didn't go out to meet guys. I went out to have fun with my friend. But she always say it's so funny how I'm so friendly with girls, but I was never friendly with like guys who wanted to talk to me. I just couldn't be though, because I was like, I wasn't there for that, and I didn't care enough to talk to men. Especially, I wasn't about to beat no man in the club. Like, hey, that ain't about to go nowhere. <laughs> Cause anybody in the, in the club looking for a boyfriend, you know, this is during my going out stage in my twenties. I just always stayed to myself, you know, and I was in a long term relationship and then I got out of that relationship. And then, you know, I just, I just was never one to like be in a lot of people's faces, a lot of guys faces. And I didn't allow them to be in my face either because why are you in my face? Why are you in my space, actually? Like, you shouldn't even be over here. Like, that was me. <laughs> Hold on, let me get dressed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got this tank from Target. These tanks from Target from a, the brand A New Day, they are perfection. If you're looking for good tanks, definitely go there. I don't know. You guys, actually, I just realized it may be cold in some of y'all states, y'all. It's still hot as hell in Florida. It's still the summertime here. So, tank tops are still a must for me but if you want some tank top i would definitely go to target okay i'm not gonna do too much oh my phone's ringing yeah one of our kids this morning <laughs> good morning by the way it is days later so i'm back home we're getting into the week, whatever. I still got, I have to take a shower this morning. The kids just got dropped off, everyone. Everyone's gone. So I need to get myself together, but I was like, let me start vlogging. I was saying though, when I started, the kid, one of our kids was like, I'm not feeling well. 
I she she said she had a uh, she has an ear infection and I was like an ear infection how did you get an ear infection you know because we wasn't we didn't go to the poor or nothing this weekend or anything and I was like how do you think you got an ear infection because like an ear infection when you tell yourself you got an ear infection it's like like there's like signs of it right like it like it doesn't like all of a sudden come on this is my interpretation of ear, ear, ear infections this is what I believe to be true doesn't all of a sudden come on it like gradually like leads to it right I think so anyway she said like, she had an ear infection this morning I was like do you have an ear infection or are you tired because you didn't go to sleep last night because I know she didn't go to sleep last night and you're just like no I have an ear infection I hear beeping sounds and I'm like okay well I've never dealt with kids on this level like because we have older kids um like nine and six you know so uh, I've never dealt with children like ever since my first child so I never watched my cousins and stuff growing up none of that so uh I was just like okay well you know maybe tell the nurse if it gets worse when you get there but like do y'all keep your kids like how do you judge if your kid when they're at older age you, if you have older kids or had older kids right because they're like grown grown now how do you judge when they say they're sick and like you truthfully know that they're sick like how do y'all be knowing because i was like i might my gut is telling me that she's actually very fine she just didn't want to get up because she was dragging her feet getting up dragging her feet like putting her shoes on and stuff dragging her feet doing all the things and she literally like seemed okay like she she just looked okay to me so i'm like how do you judge i don't know it's like how do you judge if someone's sick or not how do you how mm, i don't know so anyway that happened this morning so i need to make some coffee This cat, no, but I can't. This cat want me to look at him, pet, pet her, do all the things all day with her. And I'm like, I can't do that. Like, I'm not going to pet you all freaking day. Well, I'm here and I remember I want to take something out to eat. store and get something because i don't want that ground beef and i kind of want big chicken today big chicken just sounds so much better than ground beef i hope you guys have a great week i am in great spirits today like today is the first day where i woke up and i was tired yeah but i woke up and i was feeling like better than what i was feeling last week <laughs> sure don't maybe try to get the camera <laughs> It is much later on in the day. I had a very busy day with work and just mothering things. <laughs> now I'm home. We're home and now we're home and I'm cooking, I'm cooking big chicken, rice, and broccoli. I'm actually cooking really, really late. <laughs> really, really late. It's like 6 o'clock. Oh. Go. 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 Yeah, it's about six o'clock so y'all getting into my short form content i'm trying to like do short form content again because i actually enjoy doing it it just it doesn't take too long but it does require you to like put like a little bit more thought into it <laughs> because you got to make it catchy and you only have like a minute to do it sorry what did i say stop running okay I put so much um, pepper inside of this water here. There's some really light broccoli I found out, y'all, which is great because she needs to make sure she's eating her vegetables. But I mean, I got this big bag here. 
from Publix. I think it was a good price too. Okay, that should be it. You're saying this cat, she's so freaking rough with the cat. Like, and she wants to play with the cat so bad, but she's too rough. I don't understand. I don't understand. What, you want me to be? You're not playing with the cat, you're too rough. Yeah, I know. Uh-uh, stop it, we're not doing that. Burning up. <laughs> Leave Kitty alone. Here's in this cat. Yeah, I truly have been enjoy. I think I told you this before, where I was like, I enjoy cooking. Like now I do. So I'm learning. A lot of new recipes and just trying new things. It's really not hard, like, once you, like, keep doing it. And then now I'm even, like, I used to, like, follow instructions to a T. And I'm just like, uh. <laughs> I don't even measure it no more. I just trust what I'm doing. The way it turned out right. I think the only thing I've, like, messed up recently was some ta I have, I think I told y'all I made some tacos. Child, when I say I put hella seasoning, it was so damn salty. I don't know how I messed it up. That's the easiest thing you can make because all you gotta do is ground the beef up. Get it brown, cook it, you know? I destroyed it. Destroyed it. Funniest thing ever. That's not, but I haven't really messed up anything. Oh, before that, I, because I don't cook steak, because I was always intimidated, but I had cooked the steak and I made it like too rubbery. I didn't cook it all the way <laughs> for Will's. Will's was like rubbery. Mine was actually really good. So he put his back in the soap, but I did season it good. I seasoned it very well. But now I don't be caring. I, do, I feel like but the old me, like even when I was like, not to talk about any ex or anything. But in past relationships, I feel like I was always intimidated. Um, cook. I, just, I don't know. I just felt I wasn't. I feel like they were like super judgmental and stuff. So I just never did it. I did it, but not like how I cook now. Now I cook like a lot. Well, and I both take turns. Like it's not just me doing like cooking, which is great. Mm. I turn light on. But yeah, so yeah, it's not just me, which is good because it gives me a break. The last couple weeks, I really have been cooking, especially during like the whole pregnancy thing. I wasn't cooking at all. I was probably cooking like twice a week, but he really stuffed up because I was just, wasn't feeling that. I didn't have a lot of energy. I'm not putting this on 90 seconds because last time I put it on 90 seconds, it bust. So we're going to put it on... We're gonna put it on 60. Okay. We're gonna put it on 60 seconds. See what happens in 60 seconds. Chicken is cooking. It smells super good. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. I'll show you when we get done. I will show you when we get done, but I gotta put the broccoli in here. Or, no, put it in here. What I want to do is start meal, meal prepping my lunch. What? So then I'm gonna figure it out during during the week, and I can just like easily grab it. So I'm thinking, because I can meal prep meal prep wheels too. Like I can do broccoli, rice, what? things like that. Like a course side that's super easy. And broccoli is good every day. Like, I can eat that every day. I can get a lot. Oh, 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 Yeah, I don't know why this thing says 90 seconds. Because it literally busts every time you put it in for 90 seconds. Okay, so do it. Oh. 
I see why. Because I didn't tear the sides. It literally says tear two inches to vent. Let me put it back here. 30 more seconds. But that's what I'm thinking. I can just start meal prepping. No. Our lunches. So then really during the week either we don't have to worry about it. I like Publix because I didn't know they carried these big bags. Even my car keys. I didn't know they carried the big bags of broccoli. So I think that would be really good for us. Child, I, for, I haven't been tearing this at all. I've just been keeping it closed. That's why it's been busting on me. Every time it's been busting, I'm like, why does it keep doing that? Makes sense. This is super easy. I don't know how to cook rice. I just said that we need to get a rice cooker for this house. That's my goal is to get new pots and pans, new utensils, and I want to get some, some more cooking cans, like a rice cooker. Because I can't cook rice. I don't know how. So I always have to buy these. I get these from Sam's Club. Like, it comes in a, a bunch. Like, you get a bunch for like $6. Like a bunch of these packets. get some more butter i'm gonna do a really big grocery haul on wednesday i'm gonna have them deliver it i was uh whose comments was i looking somebody was commenting was it cna ross i think it was cna ross i would say cna <laughs> cna ross that's her tag name hey friend i think i'm pretty sure it was you <laughs> was talking about all this because we and my last one of my vlogs I was talking about the Walmart service like I didn't I didn't know if I wanted to do that or not because I had I had signed up for Target's like free trial to deliver groceries because you guys know I have Sam's Club and Sam's Club delivers our groceries too but then Target has one and I'm like well let me sign, that, sign up for that but I only did a 14 day free trial yearly it's $99 though it's way too expensive but people were saying that they have the Walmart one and then we were there right? she was saying how she has started utilizing a lot of services where she doesn't have to do stuff herself like especially like cleaning like you can I think she said she was gonna be a housekeeper for a month and all this other stuff like per month like a housekeeper to come one time out of the month and I was like child yes this is the best thing I did is to get groceries delivered so I don't gotta figure it out Are you pooping? Yes. Ari, would she look like it? Come here. Yes, she did. She told me she did. He finds himself in a complicated relationship with two men who both believe they have a claim to the throne. The one Jonathan is related to by blood is brash, angry, and secure. The one Jonathan is related to by covenant is considered successful, strong, and gentle. It would have been hard managing these complex relationships in any scenario, but when Jonathan speaks up on David's behalf, saw her as a spirit, Jonathan, his firstborn son, in an attempt to kill him. Wow. That is tough. Crushed by the realization that his own father and it intends to kill his closest companion Jonathan returns to the place he and David set aside to meet with him. so basically in this story it talks about how you you build fam you can build family of your own which is what I've done over the years through friendships I have very close friends very close friends I have a very tight circle but that tight circle are like people who I hold like so close to my heart they're like family to me and then even building my own family now like that's what this talks about where it's where you have family by blood but you can also build family for yourself which is important if you didn't grow up in a household of love or if you felt like abandoned or you have issues like family issues and things you will want to create that type of family for yourself because life isn't about being alone being by yourself right so it's nice to surround yourself with people who love you whether it's family or not family or family that you have built anyway so jonathan doesn't really get along with his dad which is king saul and jonathan meets 
David and him and David basically form a union amongst each other where they aren't related by blood but it's a covenant that they go into with God where they pledge they love their, they pledge their love and loyalty to each other right so King Saul hates David he hates David and he tries to kill David and David, of course, tells Jonathan, and Jonathan doesn't believe it because he's like, why would my dad try to kill you? My dad would not try to kill you. So David and Jonathan come up with a plan to have King Saul reveal his plans of killing David to Jonathan so Jonathan can, Jonathan can know if it's true or not. Anyway, King Saul ended up being so angry. He let his anger come out so much that when he when when david no sorry when jonathan got him to admit to wanting to kill david he also tried to kill his son jonathan because he was so angry and that that messed up jonathan's whole world because he's like how can my how can my dad try to kill me because you're so angry and you're so je it was jealousy there it was anger there it was all these things all these feelings for david that also seeped into his relationship king saul's relationship with his own son so he tried to kill him for that craziest thing the the reflection that it wants wants you to think about is what does loyalty mean to you and who are the people in your life that you consider family whether you're related by birth or not and that's for that for me is my best friends my fiance our kids um you know that's family to me. Okay, let me go ahead. That's Samuel's. Samuel. What is, where is they taking this from? I like to go the Bible. Samuel 1, chapter 20. I like to go in the Bible and read the chapter once I get done with Bible studies. Why does me try to kill his own son? Because it's anger. Child, people let anger get the best of them. That's why I be trying to control my emotions because you're going to kill, you're going to try to kill your son because you're so angry about his little, not little, his ain't little, but it's you so angry about his loyalty to David. That you gonna try to kill your son, your own son, just because you're so mad and in, in, in jealousy. Them feelings, anger, je jealousy, bitterness, those are some strong feelings to have. Those are some very strong feelings to have. And they're scary because they're uncontrollable. You can't control it when you're angry. You can't control your actions when you're bitter. You can't control your actions when you're jealous. That is crazy to me. I'm just, I'm mind blown that I'm even reading that. Mind blown. Yeah, it's been such a crazy morning. I think I told y'all that I, I don't like traveling because when I'm traveling, things are still going on with work that I still need to attend to. And if I'm traveling and I'm on the road, then I can't do that, right? So I like try to multitask, but it is literally almost impossible. And it's killing me. And I'm like, I, I have like <laughs> really bad anxiety right now because, <clears throat> which I need to like get rid of immediately. Because um, I just have other things that need my attention. So I don't really like traveling. I'm really happy that my job is remote. And I can travel like when I set it for myself, but it just seems like I picked the wrong time to travel for work. I got some coffee from Starbucks. Yeah, it just seems like I put I picked the wrong time to travel. So hold on. Hi this It's a busy day. It's a really busy day. And I'm just waiting, 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 waiting for the day to end and it hasn't ended. <laughs> I gotta do that. Oh, I'm 
I'm so behind on emails, so you're fine.